Hey YouTube, I hope you guys are doing well. This is David Pierre. Today I would, I would like to make a very short video because Khadija Akram, one of my subscribers, had asked me if we can use manifestation to change how our kids behave. My daughter is 13 years old. She's a teenager. Okay, so as we all know, the general assumption goes that it's, tough, it's difficult handling a teenager. Now that's an assumption again. So what if I flip it and say it's as smooth as um, it's as it's it's a cakewalk, right? So my assumption is my daughter handling her. Uh, I I will not say she doesn't get cranky at times. She does, but. The idea is that nobody in your reality has free will apart from you. So, as funny as it may sound, if I assume that it's a cakewalk to handle her, if I assume that she's obedient, if I assume that she does exactly what is good for her, that is exactly how she is going to conform because she has no free will. So, if I could make a teen daughter do exactly what how I what I want her to do and she's absolutely she's like she's a mother to me at times I think it's completely doable highly doable if the kids are smaller and if the kids are in their teens or whatever it actually does not matter what matters is what you, what you are affirming about them now the catch here is even if there are moments because if i am having a human moment she may also have a human moment so if there are moments when you feel that your kids are triggering you doing something that you don't like and you ha you react that's completely fine i don't necessarily mean that you know she does something i don't i never scold her i do but what is my general assumption about her my general assumption about her is she is a very obedient and she is the best daughter in the world and she always listens to me. So the idea here is that you need to be very careful about how you are framing your affirmations about your kids. It's not I don't I don't just say that she always listens to me because I want her to have uh, thoughts of her own you know I want her to have a space where she knows where what she wants and you know she knows what sh what is good for her and what is not good for her so affirm things only that you want to manifest in their lives if you have a bad thought and if you feel key like okay I, she never listens to me or you know she's do, always doing whatever she wants to do that's a very normal thought but what was your general assumption my general assumption about my daughter is she's the most beautiful and she's the most be I mean sensitive and obedient and uh, sensible person in the world so does she have a choice but to conform no why because i assume that she always does things that are good for her and she allows me to bits so does she confirm yes she doesn't have a choice because i'm affirming a quick tip here for parents never ever take the human moment do not stretch it too much if you scold them, it's fine. But do not stretch it too much. Do not keep. Do not complain about them to others. Never do that, because whatever you're saying, even if they are not around and you're complaining, you know, because your subconscious is getting convinced about something which you do not want to create. And if you do not want to create something, do not keep affirming it, even if you're discussing it, because even if you're discussing it with somebody, it's an affirmation. So if you scold them, scold them get done with it and ensure that you assume that your child is the best child in the world and always keep praising them 
always keep praising them even if they, even if they have not done anything worth the praise for that moment keep praising them keep keep telling people that they are beautiful keep telling people that they are obedient keep telling people that they always listen to you keep telling people that they do exactly what you want them to do keep telling people that they are extremely sensible keep telling people that they are very studious keep telling people that they have their head space absolutely sorted the more you affirm the more you create it the more you affirm the more you create it you don't have to tell it to them all the time you just have to kind of you know you can discuss it with others when you talk about your child always say good things when you talk about your child always say good things when you talk about your child always say good, good say good things huge tip for tip for parents because we tend to forget we think like if because it's our child it's it's just like a property and we can just say anything and any anything about them no you cannot because you are creating an assumption about them and that is exactly what they are going to reflect so why would you create an assumption which you do not want to experience you are a master manifester so create something that you want to experience i hope that answers it khadija much love to all of you bye